Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. Um, This is one I've had in my pocket for a second. I've been meaning to do this one, especially after the last few. Diving into some of the commentary and questions that are out here about, you know, why do black people do this? Black men, black women, blah, blah, blah. There's, um, I'm just trying to now at this point, just constantly pull conversations and content that I think are really helpful. And my goal is within the next week or so is to move to maybe some a couple more concrete things. So far, I really like just the response quality, which I'll continue with, of just finding things, responding, and kind of riffing off of what was said and bringing other points to the forefront. But, but look forward and also like, share, and subscribe. Uh huh. Please do to things that I do here as I put more concrete, more, I don't know, whatever, like more solid videos. I mean, it's not a question of something being solid or something being more fluid for that matter. But I just really, again, like I said from the beginning, just wanted to kind of cut my teeth and just get out here and start commenting. So, anywho, so tonight, this is an episode of Housey Live with Tree of Logic. They're both conservatives. Um, Housey just uh, came off of like the whole blood sports streak of. Well, it's funny Rooney and company. They, <laughs> well, not that every single one is more alt right people, but they're calling it alt right bum fights. I mean, the blood sport content that Worski and company and JF have been doing recently have been pretty cool. I mean, there's a slew of people I'm not really that familiar with and. I'll look at the content they're describing. I kind of don't really delve in unless it's someone I know know. But it's been really entertaining and good. So he basically just came off of a romp with uh, Mike Enoch from TRS. And Tree of Logic actually had Mike Enoch on and also David Duke on alternately to discuss the JQ and go into a debate about that. Um, Halsey himself, I believe he said his mom is Jewish and he's white. Uh, so basically, they're kind of having this powwow on the after, but I'm not even here to talk about that or the JQ or anything. There's one one big point that I'll end up coming back to again and again on this channel as we go further, is this question of there's these two things that can't be true. Actually, I can feed this back. Well, I'll, I'll feed it through the filter of the JQ as discussed by the alt-right, by the dissident right, I mean, by the pro-Zion, pro-Palestinian anti-Zionist, anti-Palestinian lens with a slight caveat or just kind of diversion from the original point. But there's, I'm gonna, this is going to be kind of key because they're talking a bit and it's a great discussion. I listened to the whole thing, but I'm going to start with this first like two minutes of something that Tree of Logic says. Then I'm going to circle back around on after that and skip ahead about a few minutes to the second point she makes. So these two points are divergent. And they both can't be true. So while you're listening, my, you know, smart, nifty listeners out there, you should be able to figure it out. But let's play the first two minutes here. Then I'm going to have to pause and I'll try not to, I'll give a little bit of a chit chat as I move ahead to the second half of what can't be true. If the first part is true, if part A is true, B can't be. Both A and B can't be true. So let's just start there and I'll just play the conversation. You can listen and I'll throw the link below. It was stupid. It was like, it was not an argument. So what? It's, it's like, it's like me, which you'll rarely see me defend the fuckery that my people do. What's so, what's so messed up about this is, is this, this is the most fucked up thing about the war with me and the alt right is that they took my attention away from me calling my own people out on the fuckery that they've been, that they've been doing the, 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 the violence that they have been committing against whites, all of the injustices that they have been committing against whites. They have taken my attention away from them. And this is the reason why I have a huge white audience that are actually a bunch of normies. I have more of a white following that are normies than these dumbasses. And it's because through me, you have a black woman who is calling, who's holding her own race accountable. Unlike these dumbasses who don't hold their own race accountable. And it's like you are focusing on the Jews instead of focusing on your own race. I am not going to focus on any other race, including white people. I don't give a fuck what you think they've done. I am not falling into this white supremacy. I am going to focus on the shit that you guys do. I'm going to focus on LaQuisha having five kids and on welfare, you know, by four different daddies. I'm going to fucking focus.
focus on Tyrone robbing people and then going to jail. And then when he gets out of jail, he gets a stolen gun and then points it at an uh, officer, gets shot in his baby, in his mama, not his baby mama, his mama is on there talking about my son ain't doing nothing wrong. I'm calling him out on this shit. But what the art right has done is has distracted me to the point where I, I can't call out my own people anymore because now I'm calling them out. And, and every... Okay. So, there we go. There's part one of... That's part A of what later falls to be part B. So, give me a moment to scooch over to there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ding, 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 ding. You'll have the link. You can go watch all the in-between and watch the whole thing. It's a good interview. So, this is about where a little bit of beginning... Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I, I know I know all that, too, but I'm just saying, like, everything is about the preservation of the white race, mm-hmm. but they're not willing to produce the next generation of the white race. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I have often said that I think one of the biggest tragedies in America is that they've convinced black people to limit their own generation. And that's why abortion is so high for the black community. More, I mean, more black babies are, are killed than they are aborted than they are born. I know. That's a damn and, shame. I mean, me, I'm, I'm as pro-life as they come. I don't, I don't believe there's any reason other than absolute medical necessity to ever have an abortion. But somewhere, somehow, they convinced the black community that this was good for them because, after all, you know, they were struggling and blah, 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 so why bring unnecessary kids? But what they, what they really did was they said, we're going to limit your power. Because if you don't give a shit about the next generation, you're definitely not going to give a shit about this one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I've always said that that's a tragedy of America because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a, um, I just, I just started using this term more often. I'm not a race realist in that the idea, yes, I believe that race and biology and all of that play into a lot of things. But I don't believe that people are inherently built to fail. I don't care what race you I are. Agree. I agree. Anything like that. I believe there are some people, I, I, what I criticize usually is ideology. I you know agree. what I'm saying? Islam yeah. is political poison. Yes. So, and they think generationally. They just think in terms of comfort. Right. Which is why they'll have non kid nine kids and not care that two of them become suicide bombers because that that furthers the generational goal of hunger. Yep. I think is poison. But I I, I think like the black community, not that they're victims, because I believe everybody makes their own choice. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time. They haven't been fully awoken to the idea that by aborting their children or not staying together and marrying, that they're they're sacrificing their own power in, in the in the meantime. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, a prophet. I can't say. Listen, if that were the case, we'd have Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know anything about anything like that. All I know is that every community that I've seen, look at Asians, right now they. There are all these IQ studies. I, well, what I think about them are almost wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even if black people have the lowest IQ on the planet, they make up 90% of the highest paid athletes on the planet. So it's like, the money's there. You know what I'm saying? The money's there to be made, even if you don't have a brain for it. So I don't care about IQ. I don't care about anything like that. What I care about is that somehow, somewhere, they, they've lost that ability to have that level of power where they can have truth. You know is it actually, I, I'm going to actually piggyback on what you're saying by using my own self as an example. Okay, I'm just going to pause there because, you know, it's interesting. She, what she goes into is a little bit more family background. And, you know, interestingly enough, I would like, when I first thought about doing this video, I thought about mentioning it, but it, it, it leads down to way more of a tangent that's probably something totally separate that I don't want to go into. But so let's just back up to the first half. And this is one of the key things that I guess here, particularly more, I, not exclusively this channel is to just be a black woman's sphere circle. But I think a lot of things I'm talking about over time, or at least in this very specific time period, is an overlap where we're going to speak about, talk, speak about, God damn it. You know, I just did that. I was just doing a side video called, what is what black people say in theater? And I'm not, I mean, I, I hear more people doing it. Somebody say, I'm going to speak about. 
it's just grammatically strange. I can't tell you like in like the Merriam Webster definition as incorrect grammar or incorrect, you know, phrasing. You know, I'm not an English teacher, pre pre eighth grade English teacher, but I just said it. Oh, I'm not gonna delete it. So you can put down the loop someplace and make fun of me one day. But anyway, so let me just stick to the very specific points. This is always something that can be revisited later or in other incarnations outside this video. So first, I'm going to talk about, well, first, this is say Tyrone, who gets steals a gun and shoots a cop, white cop. Then his mama, grandmama, auntie crying about my baby didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Yep. Okay. But Shanika, with her three kids by four different men, or she said four kids by five different men, whatever the number gradation there was. Then we come back later, and it was more Hal Halsey pushing this point about, well, the black people have been lied to and told to have all these abortions and not get married and stay together. Now, particularly if you're a black woman here, kind of from more of the, the BWE um, sovereign kind of, I guess, black women circle center channels here where, you know, Ralph Richard Banks is marriage for white people has been discussed where, you know, the molestation, incest rates in the black community rates have been discussed when, you know, we all, no matter where you go ad nauseum here about the 73% of um, children are born out of wedlock in the black race. So you're hearing this over and over and over again. So, so but the thing is, there's no contextualization. So even Halsey and Tree of Logic, and, you know, both of them are all right. I've really just been recently introduced to Halsey just from the Bless Force thing and him versus Enoch and the kind of the alt-right circle that kind of like has been like kind of following him a bit. He actually, I think he was on Luke Ford's live stream. No, I think Enoch was on after that debate. But anyway, so the Tree of Logic, she's, you know, she's, she's a lot of normie white followers. She's like kind of like the center of normie kind of conservatism, but specifically it's kind of normie black conservatism, especially the black woman. I don't think I can really, I can't, I'm really, this is my new resolution to this channel. I'm going to, when I get to a point that I know I really can't do, I'm not going to circle around too much, make a note, come back to that later to dissect, dissect people more specifically. But her channel attracts a lot of white normie conservatives, you know, very MAGA, you know, I'm MAGA too, you know, red hats and all, whatever. But it's so funny, like, so the, it's the, 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 the point, part A Shaniqua was having four kids by three different men or five kids by four different men, whatever the number situation there was. But then she didn't say it, but Halsey kind of, and she backed him up. Oh, these abortions, the Democratic Party, Planned Parenthood, and everybody's training these black people, just, you know, this invisible hand telling them to have these, all these abortions and to be out of wedlock and be unmarried. These two things can't exist, and it's really it's interesting, especially with the black women, like from Kendall, Simone, CK, all the channels here, and all the different women who float around here. We, you know, we've kind of graduated out of like the black stand mindset to having these arguments, and having these discussions. And the funny thing is, you and the one part of the problem is, too many black women are even in these woker sovereign circles. This is one of my biggest acts to grind for most of y'all. Even though I love a lot of your comments, I dig you and I vibe you on a lot of ways. But when we come to politics, so many of you are still in this basic bitch Democrat Party, you know, thing where you believe a lot of stuff they say about the right. And the funny thing is, you kind of are right, but it's shit like this with the two of them in this video with this whole, you know, the Democratic Party so evil, black women's having all these babies willy-nilly. There's no contextualization. There's no nothing to say that this is a de facto response of just black people within the past 50 years, even to the past 100 years. And those of us who have kind of come along with the hashtag who was at the gate looking at the race and the whole black sub-Saharan African experience now from these circles going back to the slave trade, going back to the mother continent. We know that this is almost a, such a long standing, standing tradition amongst black sub-Saharan African peoples now that when these normie conservatives, so the funny thing is the big thing I'm going to say, you guys are right. If you're a black woman, you vote Democrat, you're liberal, you hate Trump. And I see it all the time. Even some of you that I really respect and like, and I really hate, and I try not to de defer com commentary too much, but I know particularly, I wonder there's one woman who used to comment a bit on um, Beyond Black and White. I wonder that's why she stopped commenting after the um, election too much. I mean, I don't read the blog as much as the channel, but she used to show up and like say stuff. And I have to wonder if that's kind of why she kind of fed it away because I still we, we still follow each other on Twitter. She's pro MAGA, interracially married, you know. 
and this is where the few of us as black women, we kind of like end up getting really annoyed because on the surface, it's like tree of logic. I bet her and this, this person, they're both MAGA black women, which I am into a large degree too, but because I'm more dissident, right? And then take the phrasing away more alt, right? Am I like outlook about race and everything else? It gets so hard with most of y'all because I can't, it's like with with y'all on the more left-leaning Democrat party, black women who make up mostly sovereign circles, you guys are really, you're so free. Now you swirling, you're going, you know, Kendall was making fun of y'all once in this one post. It was like, so now y'all chicks think y'all going to go post some white man out of the white woman's bed, become some Asian geisha. You guys are getting so, you know, into it, into it. You don't really have the fundamentals. But then you hate these right wingers and these Trump voters. But then I go over to these black women Trump people, and then that one be chick that Tria Lodge was beefing with, they both post and they and for right reasons, but they both post the same nonsensical. These black women have these abortions. They stuck in Planned Parenthood because Democrat plantation. It's like I feel like I'm stuck between these weird ass extremes. I'm looking at women who look like me in these two very different camps, and both sets of them have this, this these mental blocks that like. I don't even think sometimes it's like being quicksand because I don't really know what to do with y'all. So that's it was like the, if you go back on this channel, I post some videos about the black women in Costa Rica getting away from a white supremacy, my Trumpism after the election. There's a lot to left to be desired about most black women. So I'm going to make this last point about this here because it's one thing I'm going to come back to. It can't be both things. Black women are either having too many babies by too many, you know, didn't do males. Or they're having too many abortions. Both of these things can't be true. It's one or the other. Now, if we take both of those and we and we take both of those A and B, and after A we have a subset A one and A two, there are def- definitely solutions there or B one and B two. So they're having too many babies by too many men. All right, nobody in the black community should have an unprotected sex with no one that they're not married to. And that could be either or. You could take either of those arguments, but you have to follow the next logical conclusion to stop the originating factor that you say is so bad because what happens on the right is evidence here in this discussion with Tria Logic and Housie and what happens on the more, I don't want to say left left, but the still where a lot of black women, even the more woke sovereign black women are, you still in this Democrat liberal left leaning blackness, black womanness that you don't really realize like that you haven't let go. That gets frustrated because you say no wedding, no womb and you're going to, you know, pick character over color and swirl out but then you're over here beating it right, right over the head. But then when you read stuff, see stuff like this between this conversation, you really end up, it's like a snake eating its old tail. You end up back on the same side. So both of these things can't be true. You want to call it your people. That's fine. But it can't be both things. Shaniqua with her four kids by three different men. Or, um, oh my God, all these abortions. Well, which one is it? We're either having too many babies, all willy-nilly with our legs in the air. Or we're having too many abortions and we're like genocide and, and you know, Planned Parenthood is like the new fucking Auschwitz in you know, every corner of MLK and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Which one is it? Because this is the conversation with black women that is going to start to transcend politics and we have to get to a certain point. Which one is it? And how do we educate ourselves and spread this to out throughout the further world? Because it's really frustrating that this keeps coming up. But anywho, I just wanted to come here real quick with like my 18, almost 20 minute video and just point this out that this is one of the, this is like one of the key of many different like kind of, I guess, theses or central originating points of arguments that I'll come to here is evidence here. And it was great to finally find more people on the right, a, you know, a half white, half Jewish man and a black woman having, making this argument amongst themselves in this discussion, because this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's not like, Oh, Trump is great. And everybody on the right is great. It's not everybody on the left and Democrats are wrong. It's like two people having two different discussions in like a echo chamber and they just need someone to kind of cut through the middle and pull them out of both sides. So a lot of black women from these sovereign woke circles that I like and probably may recognize my handle from certain channels. And then compared to like more of these more right normie conservatives, like you guys kind of hate each other or think you do. But you're like an evidence. You're, you're both speaking a lot of the same weird points or you're making political judgments 
about the right, if you're a more left leaning woman, black woman from these circles, you don't realize these people are actually kind of saying what we're trying to say needs to be done, but they don't really get the full lay of the land and they're just making these two different disparate points that don't really have any bearing on anything. So, in closing, the black women are having too many children out of wedlock or they're having too many abortions and killing all these babies. It can't be both. And I'll leave it here. It's like, it's a very Schrodinger's cat type of social um, question that this that whole argument presents about black women, their womb, their reckless womb, you know, reckless in the sense that it's just spouting out all these bastard babies everywhere, or it's this reckless womb that legs are spread open in every Planned Parenthood across the country. We got to talk about it. We got to figure this out. So I'll leave it there. I'll be back with another one really shortly. These things take so long to upload, it feels like, on the interim. So I'll go do a little dishwasher filling. And I'll be back with another video, uh, likely within the next half hour. Upload time. Please account for that. Anywho, cheers.